Are you all sitting comfortably? Good. Then let me tell you a story. When last we left, Goblin had beaten Dizzy in round two. But round three was upon us with more weapons. How did the duel at the top go? Let's find out. Hello, hello. Uh, it broke. That's not fair. Oh, no, there it is. Cool. I got a really fancy sheet, courtesy of Des. Look at that. Gotta show that off before we start. Yeah, so, um... Don't look too close at that. Because <laughs> that's got spoilers. Let's head over to the game. I'm gonna have to join my... Professional streamer completely forgot to change HUD and stuff. There we go. Does this thing just not save? Sure I sent to that last time. Oh well. Open screen. Exit set. Nope, it's alright. It's alright. We're not actually ready for what's going on yet. I need that. That's got CP times only. Okay, so I probably do need the other one. Or I need. One day I will manage to get rid of uh, xdf.tykismo.info. That's my default X. Actually, it's XDWC. That's the worst part. It's not even the regular. Right. The first time that we need... Oh, I could just do this. There we go. Now I know what time we've got. The first time we have our... Uh, 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 I've forgotten which way around this is. Uh, one second, I'm stupid. This is our Asian, um, Asian continental champion. I couldn't remember which way around the two were, because I couldn't remember where Wujizuf was from. New player, haven't seen before. Uh, PS.ra. Or p.s.ra. Let's have a look. 83 second time. Uh, yes. Let's see. It placed 113th, I do believe. In the overall. 113th. We've hit 400 players, by the way. Oh, here we go. So this, ain't, this ain't too bad. Not using the rocket there, I did see most people weren't using the rocket on that first section. Getting both rockets in there, which is pretty nice. We are looking at probably a decent ping, yeah, 100 ping. That ain't bad, getting up there. Pure hard W turns on everything. actually almost looks this is it almost looks like a trackpad like this actually almost looks like a trackpad because it's super high sensitivity super high flick but then complete stops which is as I know from playing super high sensitivity impossible Okay, so going through there. Giving this a go. Now that's fair play. That is entirely fair play going for that route. Yeah. Do you know what? I hope that more people can get that kind of running. Because that 
is not your complete run in the mill. Like that's that's the second stage of what I talk about in the first guide video. Like I'm going complete walk guide. You can get through it. If you're lost, come here. Then I go to some little tips and tricks that might just improve your speed. You can jump this bit, you can get from here to here. That was like, yeah, that, that took genuine work. You need to actually try. And that last bit, the rockets, that was clean. To be fair, that was clean. I know, you know, fucked up the slick bit, but... Who didn't? <laughs> Who didn't? Next up, we have... Da, 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 put that over here. We have wood jizzer. Uh, 67. This is the African Continental Champion. Nicely done. It's good speed out of there, actually. Keeping solid speed. You should take... If you're watching this for the first time, you should take... Where's Strayfoot? Where is Strayfoot? That is a good point. Uh, we'll wait for this run to end, because I know what it is. Nice. Uh, herd underscore strafe herd. Ah, shit. I swear that it's just not... Oh, you have to go to them. Profession... Oh, hood underscore panel. That's why. I'm sure it's not saving. Because I set this... And got this set up. Which we don't care about that. Like multiple times I'm pretty sure I've got this set up. I have. That's the annoying thing. I'm going to turn the... Disable, yeah. Turn that off. I am fairly sure that I have saved it. Like, save current skin should save it. Oh well. Hopefully that saves it. Hopefully that is working. Next up we have Des, who at the last hour pipped me to the post. 42.98. Very nice time from Des. Very nice time. Well, apparently the, the best time has just moved way over. Ah, the best time is that bit. I should have done that inside of... Yeah, I'll set this up. Professional overlay. <laughs> Lighto. Apparently the thing hasn't disabled chat because it's there. Never mind. Lighto annoys by the tower when this uh, record was set. How close to the end? When did you set this time, Des? Because I literally woke up in the morning and went, shit, what a bastard. Ah, first of the cuts. Yes. Seven minutes before the end. Jesus. Yeah. Nice. Nice end. Very nice end there. It was a low end. So that's, that, that's the first time we're going to see a cut. That was what? One cut. I think there's going to be a few more because um, 
That was 38th position. We're now going to go to 20th position with JH. I'll be honest with you, that's the only cut I've seen, really. I've, actually, I've seen a couple of other cuts, but for the most part, that's the only cut I've seen. Dog has got bored with Zenotic and has decided to leave. He scratches, I'm not letting him back in. <laughs> Long grind on this one. Here we go. Oh, nice straight up to there. I couldn't get that uh, straight up to the to the next pad. Quite a lot of difficult spacing in this map, um, but yeah, it's gonna be. A, I I actually really have no idea how to talk about this because I don't know what cuts various people used because everyone was very quiet about what cuts they were going to use there we go there's the pro cut straight onto the slick very nice cut and a very nice finish as well yeah so legitimately don't know what to expect here but we have a very we have a few tight confined sets of people then big gaps we've got a gap of over a second in the top 20 we've got two over a second actually gaps in the top 20 like this next one to shiro is 0.01 of a second the name didn't fit <laughs> but yeah so stacking skips and all of that here we go Ah, uh, nice. Looking back, that tiny little difference in looking back. So we do have some very, very fancy uh, CP splits. Which is cool. Courtesy of, of course, Des, the Continental Champion. Of, uh, of South America. For some reason I was going to say the Continental Champion of Argentina there. Yeah, this, this map, very, very fun map. I really, really enjoyed playing this map, actually. Some people didn't like the skips. Some people did. But it's... Uh, it's fun to have everything in it. You know, got a skips weapon map. Last time it was a non-skips weapon map. Ah, nice. There's a fun difference between the people who do the first rocket up in those towers, then look behind them. For some reason, I did... On the first one, I was doing 180 flicks. On the second rocket tower, just about to come up now, I was sending that one, then looking where I was going to shoot my next rocket. Ah, very nice. It is super tight to make this cut so compared to Desi's cut which looks almost the same in terms of where you're going but you end up on the outside on the bounce pad and then go over to the slick rather than spawning straight on the slick uh, it's it's a big difference shit end let's open that file Uh, mm, yeah, not a great end. No, Quasar, actually better end, the best end we've seen so far and the best end we're going to see for the next two, so... Not actually a bad end, as, as it goes. You know, 
looks bad, but that last CP, fine. Next up, we've got Rainbow Shadow. TFR, swap. I'm planning things. There we go. There's another skip. So yeah, that was, that's a. Uh, I tried that skip because it was right at the start. Really difficult, but you can see minus 22. You can also carry a rocket launcher somehow to do that skip. I, I assume we'll see it, but I've seen people end up with rocket launchers later in the map, um, able to skip extra bits. Like I'm fairly sure we'll see it because Gibbs. I saw flying around with a rocket launcher further on in the map than he should have. Yeah. Nice. It was, a, it was very high. But, yeah, like, this is going to be difficult for me because I actually, do, like I said, I don't actually know what's going on. Next up, we have the almighty Baz coming over from Quake 3. This is a much faster end. Loses a bunch of time. He's actually the second worst CP6 time. But this is the best CP3 time. The best time anyone's got from CP2 to CP3. Oh, this is uh, <laughs> this is exactly when I turned my CL net rate up to much higher than <laughs> I had it set to 60. Nobody ever told me. I've always expected that I had decent settings. Turns out, net rate's supposed to be higher. Nice. Nice strafe there. No skips so far, though. I did notice, so... Something's... It's just going to be good execution on the end here. Very nice. Baz, over here. So Goblin, who won last round, um, and Baz have been having a battle on City Rocket in Quake 3 Defrag. So I was expecting that end to be pretty good. And it is. It is uh, fifth, sixth, sixth fastest, I think. I'm counting right. Sixth fastest finish CP because this guy's coming from beating Goblin and then Goblin said oh, I'm not going to retaliate to your run right now because I'm playing this defrag, uh, Zenotic defrag and so Baz joined I think effectively is what happened right there next up we have the wonderful the legendary Vert he's an official weapons player And in other ways, he's an official player. A lot lower than Rainbow there. Getting back on the ground, getting back in control faster. Ooh, big eat. Okay, there we go. That's what I was talking about carrying the rocket. I just realised that he actually did carry the rocket further and didn't. So if you manage to skip, I guess, the uh, take away my rocket trigger. Ah, oh, but goes for the... Or well, ends up with potentially by the looks of that wiggle. Yeah. That was the fastest... Something or other. That was the fastest... CP6 to 7, which I think is because he ended up with the slower, um, yeah, because he's got the slowest out of the top 20 finish, so I want to watch this because, yeah, he's got the, so he's got the slowest finish, last CP to finish, by 2 seconds on the next slowest in the top 20. But has a 1.72 second CP6, which is faster than the next fastest. It's the only one that begins with a 1, and the next fastest is 210. There's 
4 milliseconds faster. I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to the wrong thing. Anyway, you might have seen that. Um, next up, first 37, it's 37.56 from our Oceania champion. Yeah, I'm fortunate with the jump pad, I think, mostly. Why hasn't that changed? Oh, because I need to stop typing with the keypad, actually. Yeah, I'm fortunate with the jump pad end, because I think he definitely was aiming for it. I'm not sure if the wiggle was kind of like a source hop, um, source hop strafe to try and gain some speed there, or if it was that, if it was the mouse wiggle of frustration. Nicely off, and we're seeing people get back on the gas through the middle of that. So no extra carrying rocket launcher there. Only Vert so far able to to do that. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of people who go, oh, right. Because it, it's actually quite funny. Um, the, like, in Quake 3D Frag, they don't show times. They don't do it on servers, don't show public times. But even here, you see someone do a skip and you go, what do they do? I think it just, in some ways, just pushes you to go even harder. Like, you know you know there's a skip, but you also think, I'm sure someone probably has thought, no, nah, they're not skipping, because I know I did when Des caught up to me. I know I didn't think he was skipping. And then he got the beat me seven minutes before the end, which I'm totally not mad about. But yeah, it was like, you don't know if someone's skipping unless they tell you. Which is exactly the same as if we didn't share demos. But it's, yeah, it's really interesting. It's really interesting to see people come back and forth and figure things, different things out. But there's going to be some people who are gaining and some people who are losing because of Because of not knowing skips. Interesting start there. Actually getting a decent amount of speed. Uh, despite sort of just falling off the edge rather than really gunning for it. Nice start. Still Vert, the only one. I mean, that... That rocket. Interesting who's going for where, because we saw on that previous one from uh, Nature. Nature really kind of aiming for the shortcut on the exit, like the fork prongs, rather than the base of the under the XDWC sign like Procky just did. So interesting to see the different different ways that it's going. Next up we got Shinx. What shortcuts is Shinx gonna bring us? Sorry for missing the start a little bit there. I've just realised what conversation is about to happen. <laughs> nice. I think the tower skip was... Uh, where we are right now, I think we're going to see a few people with tower skips that have one of their worst endings. But the tower skip is incredibly powerful. So I th there's a f there was a few people that looked like they had a good run and they were going for tower skip because it could help them. <laughs> but it wasn't sort of uh, completely required. Next up we got Frosty with 36.68. We're up in 12th now. 
frosty with mixed CPs. Gotta say, it's go green, red, green, red, red, L yellow, yellow. <laughs> It's like, there's there's not really any average until right at the end. The last two CPs are average. It's either good or it's bad. For this, uh... Ooh! Not using the whole of the slick for a setup there. That's really interesting, because you'd never really think that slick spacing... <laughs> but I guess slick spacing came into account there. These up-ramp spacings were just brutal. I think everyone struggled with those. You can see pretty much everybody taking evasive action to not eat an up-ramp. Just clearing into the next skip. Again, such a low skip. Not even strafing entirely into the finish. Our oh, tower skip's incredibly powerful. We got Ferrius up next. Was this our? This is our one second one. Let me have a look at my other spreadsheet. From Frosty to Ferrius is 1.27 seconds. I am fairly sure that that is probably one of the biggest gaps, time gaps, pure time gaps in XCWC history. Sixteen hundred out of that skip, and carries rocket launcher. This is the key. Where are you going to use it? Because I saw a couple of different. I saw rocket. Uh, yep. So I saw a lot of rockets there and a few on the wall, for the most part. Because I have permanent rockets on when I play. Look at that. Three seconds faster. You can ignore that. Thirty-seven seconds faster. Nice end. Not incredible, but nice end. Yeah, really solid. Um, that, that was just solid throughout. Other than one hiccup in CP6 where it's low, but that's one of the tightest. You know, your fastest is a 210, and your slowest... We're ignoring that because that was a different CP effectively. Your fastest being a 210, your slowest being a 249. And this is 245. It's like, if you're going to be on the slower end of one of those. But that was just very consistently in the middle. And it's put middle of the top 20, 11th. Next up, we're into our top 10. we got Dex with a 3490. Let's go. It's also quite a big jump, half a second, after we had a 1.27 second. Yeah, there is a conspiracy theory now that um, Dex and Dez may be the same person. Either that or it's an alter ego. Dex is Dez when Dez wants to go hard. And Desi's just... What on earth? Nearly getting over the barricade, which is obviously put there to stop you jumping over it. But eating some ramps there, Dex. That's the lowest I... I was looking at that as he was flying in, thinking, is he going to actually double jump this... Uh, the stair or have to step up into the finish or something? Because there's a bit of finish before finish. You could actually jump on but that was a really really clean end really nice fra up next oh i meant to ask there's a italian guy at my work and i meant to ask him how you pronounce this but yeah that whole run except for that weird bit where spacing seemed to get away from in the middle after a skip 
and it was just like, eat this or eat something else. Oh, that's really, that's such a good skip, that. Oh, so same, same just eat it, I guess, yeah, that must be the best way. I thought Dex was just eating that as the best option, but because uh, Dex's was much more, looked like kind of a panic while he was heading towards it. But yeah, this one, pra, is, um, just ate it, just, where, just calm as anything, just like, yep, I'm going to eat this. Ah, oh, don't worry. Everybody did everything wrong. Next up, we got Gibbs. I was told how to pronounce it in French. But when Fraud joins the game, it says it uh, Italy. So, yeah. Crocky, you missed your own demo. Nice. Good recovery. That's something as well. I think with the first few demos we saw getting the slick skip, like straight onto the sl slick. There was a bit of panic of like, how do I get going? Whereas it almost feels like Gibbs just landed on the slick like any other time you land on the slick. Like it wasn't a respawn. Really like good control of my camera is here now. I just move it to here before pressing anything and then just swing. You know? Really nice. Well played. SRC up next. With a 33.47. Mm. Where are you? Demos, bro. Oh, no, it isn't. Never mind. It was just AFK in space for a bit there before the map loaded in. Yeah, the one time I made the slick skip, it was on a bad run anyway, but I, uh, I would have. I saw the thing flash up minus three seconds. Like, ah, oh. they're killed. I'm stupid. Extra rockets there to go for two rockets. Really fast. Really nice. Again, nice pickup. Oh, that's a nice rocket tree. Very nice rocket tree. Yeah, that fast fall was weird. Source is a weapons guy, I know. Can't believe it. Ah, 30. 32.46. Soup TT. Is the next in line? Anything interesting about this run? We are getting to the point. We got the th 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 fourth, fourth fastest CP5. We are now getting to the pointy end where nothing is in yellow. Nothing is an average time. Everything is above average for this top uh, top five, top six, because this is sixth. Except for Dizzy, he's got a he's got a green section. Uh, no, he's got a yellow section. Yeah, that was a really well-placed barrier to stop people from cutting it. It felt really like, ooh, that's annoying all the time. And yet it still works, even when people are flying over every barrier. Super nice there. I've got to be honest, I, I at the minute, just haven't really got any idea what to commentate, what to specifically point out for these guys. 
Next up, we're into the top five. We've got fifth place, Knight. Please don't break. We have Knight's biggest fan in the chat. Knight's got a lot of fans. One of the more prominent defraggers across many communities. Oh, that was nice. Nice little flicky flick. Oh, the forward rocket. The forward face. That's so good. That whole section, rocket to rocket, just that looked so clean. Tiny bit high at the end, but that's nothing you can complain about there. But that forward rocket was really nice. Let's watch that again. I just want to like slow mo the forward rocket. Remember to drink. It's helpful. So boom, that was nice. Then you got free rocket here. Shoot set. Gain speed. Sends it. Look at this though. Lands so nicely that he's still going up and doesn't really like it's an eat, but not massive. Then through to here, send one up, one down for big speed gains. Then you're off the wall at the side. And just send it. Good pickup. Where's he shooting the rocket? He's going for the rocket off the back wall and then curving it. We're trying to gain kind of horizontal speed and then use it just to split round to the end. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Next up, it's... N Knight was fourth. I read the thing wrong because there was a title and I've read the thing on the... Knight was fourth place and Soup was fifth because of this bit. I read that bit as the numbers, but you've got to take off the top one. Smart. Yeah, Sauce didn't... Sauce didn't bottom rocket in the tower. He top rocketed. I think you only... Like, Knight only gained... From that slow-mo, Knight only gained about 250 from the bottom rocket. Most of it came from the fact that you were coming down with such speed and converting that off the 45 degree ramp. But yeah, in number th in third place. Dizzy. A rare place for Dizzy to be. He's only been here once before in third place on a map. In the whole of XDWC history. Never been off the podium still. There's really, really tough, really good competition from this year. Let's see what Dizzy put up. Because it's not like it wasn't a fight. He's not got any top times here. It's actually interesting. Um, once this starts to play, because I can't get Demo Seek working. Okay, so if we go back over here to the stats, we can see... Yo, Baz over here. Down in 16th place. He's got the best time on CP3. But, kind of cheating because, you know, you, oops, you can see this. Like this problem here. But it's got the best time on CP6. Admittedly, then, yeah, you get back up to here, but best time there. Then it's shared between just the top two.
But yeah, Dizzy has actually, actually had to really grind for this and is pushing times. And it's incredible to see. It's incredible to see this real stiff competition, but it's a high start. Nicely onto that. J yeah, just the, I mean, yeah, the start speed is incredible from Dizzy. It's any part where he gets any strafe. Oh, that's nice. 1900 round there. Hits that onto the slick. Boom, boom. S little bit of a slow end there. Little bit of a, like, slow speed for right at the end. But yeah, let's just, I'm going to slow this down on the circle jump. I want to see what the start speed is. Actually, I've got the data for start speed, haven't I? Dizzy's start speed was 641. Delta 627, Goblin 618. Dizzy had the top start speed. Those guys are pretty much the only ones outside of into the 600s. So this strafe, and then just pinning it all the way to the back wall. Most people have started at this speed, looking at it. 550 to 580. Coming 640 into the start, and then hitting the floor, getting the pre-rocket to go up to 900, go to 1000. This tower skip, big wide, big over, but you've kind of got to go big and wide to be able to get out of, um, yeah, to be able to get out of things. But yeah, like, like Des said, the tower skip at the start, going super wide on that. Lost him a fair bit of time. That's his orange. 445, admittedly it's only tenth of a second off of, uh, off of Delta, it's not much, but it is, it's time, it's all time, yeah, so it's a good run from Dizzy, the 31.81 from Delta, only 0 .4, 0 0.04 of a second faster, Delta going here, than Dizzy, I think, double check that, Yeah, at a point zero, zero three of a second actually. So not much faster than Dizzy. It's tight, pretty well, pretty tight at the top. <sighs> That's so fast into the finish. Absolutely mad. Right, what? What sections do we want to slow down here? So we specifically want to slow down CP4. Oh yeah, we didn't really see the start. Eh, yeah. So this section here, let's see where he goes. Just to compare, I kind of have in my memory where he goes compared to Dizzy. Yeah. So that's super low, but lands in the same spot pretty much. And that means... Also lower for the double jump, so landing, getting less height. Less height means more horizontal speed, or less vertical speed. Doesn't lose any speed with that rocket at all. Nice up ramp. Nicely down here. Off the wall there for extra speed even. Not a great amount of speed there, but it doesn't really matter since you're resetting when you hit the slick. Great pickup from slick, and then great into the finish. Really, really nice run. And now we have half a second. We have Goblin. Week two and week three, slick and rocket. That's all it takes for Goblin to be your champion. Let's have a watch of this. He 
he wanted more horizontal speed, and he got more horizontal speed. You what? No, you, you what? You, we got an extra rocket. The man's got it. That's the half second right there. A rocket stack right there. So he shot that rocket in the place where you get the rocket. We did see this on map four or five last year. If you shoot the weapon inside the location where you get the weapon, because the rocket is on zero respawn time so that you don't nick it from other people, you have to shoot it as soon as you do it. Doing it in the tower down is... Like, because you, you don't have to aim as hard there to get the extra rocket. But let's just super slow-mo this. So... Picks up the first rocket. Boom. A little bit slower than Dizzy on the exit. But actually probably the same rocket as Dizzy got. Here is where we're looking. Hit the jump pad very low. He is literally holding shoot. I guarantee you holding shoot before picking it up. Let go. Boom. Boom off the wall. That's so low as well to get back onto the slick. Going at 2,000 onto the slick. Beautifully low. Uh, not too low, but kind of a minus one jump there. 1.7 out of that though. An extra 300 for the troubles. That's not even the fastest first split. But that's the fastest first split we've got in the top 20. First and second split. One of the fastest split twos. D uh, Delta has the fastest split here. But this split, split five, is the that's the fastest one we've got. And then boom, boom. What a finish. Look at the speed of that. We'll watch that again at full speed, because I just realised we never even watched it at full speed. So prepare to just see everything go absolutely mad. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I was expecting more skips. People were talking about there being about seven different skips, but I think there was, I mean, there was three right at the end. That's uh, slick skip. There's three options for that. There's the one we saw a couple of people do, like Vert ended up getting and uh, Des got. And that's just ridiculous. 1.7 there. To keep 1.5. Head into this. Having to readjust the mouse. That was super nice. Again, like deltas, no speed. Lock. That's last pixel. Beautiful down there. Good horizontal. Where's he going for the. So one on there, one on there. That's incredible. I mean, I was getting to a point on that last section where I wasn't able to fire the rocket on the wall in the final section. So it was one, two, three, and the third one into the finish. Like, and I was going a hell of a lot slower than that. So the ability to just time those rockets, absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I'm going to go back to Vert. Let me go back to Vert. It's a long way off. The reason I want to go back to this one... ...is that end. Because Vert has the fastest CP6. And I just want to see why is it so fast. 
it's definitely because of that because it's a different skip but it's it's a whole second faster it's half a second faster than the top guys but it's a whole second faster than the people around vert that was nice it, you can see you can see the same tactics but just coming out with less speed i mean Are we back? I hope we're back. Cracking! Vert killed my computer. Let's watch this. That's really annoying because I forgot to press local record this time and I was like, ah, fuck it. It'll be fine. I'll just download the VOD. Idiot. <laughs> oh well. The 6 CP. So I've just watched it. I've worked out where you lose the time. I thought everyone was effing at Vert's, Vert's uh, miss of the teleporter. But here we go. Yeah, so the main thing I spotted is like, we just... Like that. Doesn't gain or lose any speed. But there, you get the teleport, and as soon as you hit the teleport, you get the checkpoint. And then... Yeah, it's not an amazing end, but it's an alright end. And so, yeah, you literally just lose it. Way quicker, but then you spend a second and a half in the air. So, that's why those two times are ridiculous. But if you add six and finish together, pretty much the same time as the people around. So, didn't lose too much. Uh, the CP2 skip, you kind of had to it looks like go really wide height didn't sort of matter it was width you had to go outside of the um if we watch i think i think the best one to watch is going to be delta for that because of goblins bullshit at the start so Width is kind of what it was for that skip. Just like that. And you go really wide. And you keep the rockets. So you kind of got to go wider than all of the platforms. That was super clean. That was actually better than uh, Gobs. Super high speed there. Is it, okay, let's go back to... Uh, I know the overlay is wrong, by the way. Let's go back to JH's because... So that goblin skip at the start with the double rocket, the thing I missed was JH doing the skip in the tower down towards the end. Delta's start was the same as Goblin's, I'm going to say, to be honest. Um, just on the basis that they st they had the same start speed. They exited the start kind of bit. When you catch the video, they're at the same speed. Delta and Goblin had the same start up to the point where, Del uh, where the video comes back. And obviously Goblin did the bullshit. So... Look at it, it looks like a pleb going the long way around. There's your extra rockets. You get down, you get down. Now you've got time for two rockets. Source did something similar. But without the extra rocket. Or did Source get extra rocket? I think Source did get the extra rocket. If he didn't, he did something similar with a different way of looking at it. This is incredible how many different variations of uh, of everything we were able to get. Yeah. 
because each demo is unique you know there's no no two demos that have got anything close yeah that was that was the lowest you could probably possibly go and and still make it back um that was a big loss there but yeah i got the spacing so that's fine we take those no just yeah just skipped so skipped the bottom rocket got the same speed realistically like i slowed down knights at that point and knight only gained 200 from the rocket got 1200 by hitting the bottom because he did a top rocket gaining speed and then ping out 1200 1400 after the rocket so kind of gained 200 to 250 not not huge numbers And apparently the map had, uh... Oh wait, I need to do... Cash. Can I do this? Eh. I hate that you can't actually get maps from Dale Cash without just copy-pasting them up. So the map had a tuber on top of the finish. No skip without teleportation and straight to top level. What do you mean? What what skip was that? Oh, right. Yes. So you could literally rock it off, not use the reset point. Yeah. It... <laughs> I saw a couple of people looking at the map like in editor mode type thing and seeing where the triggers were it's like so close <laughs> but yeah let's uh let's watch that insane goblin run once again I think if you're gonna do it, you'd have to sacrifice down rocket, and you'd have to get uh, extra rocket to do that skip. So you'd have, to, yeah, it'd be difficult. Let's watch the master at work. Incredible, right there. Thing is that. That probably gives you the half a second that um, that beats Delta. But it's the rest of it that continues to be better than all the other runs as well. You know, this is still top 1% finish. That pickup is incredible. This finish right here. You know, we were talking about Baz's run. How Baz's run was incredible with the rockets like baz probably has the cleanest rockets guy's got the city rocket record just been battling with goblin these guys are the top of rocket players in quake 3 but baz didn't know any of the skips apparently so let's watch some pretty nice rocketry like a beautiful flick there Super hard. Like, this is crispy. This is pure crispy. The way the map was meant to be played. In super crispy mode. With the skips, it was difficult to... It looks like it was difficult to get such crispy everything. So there's a lot more... Yeah, but I got the skip. You know, and I got the skip really good. But Baz, just beautiful rocketry. There is no top skip, uh, top no skips. I would have, to, I'm not going to search through it, but yeah, fully intended route maxed would be fun to see. It's not feasible for us to have a no skips in um, XDWC, to be fair. Maybe. I, I'll be honest, I would like to see the map fixed up for uh, to avoid skips 
and uploaded as a no skips when it goes to HP. Wouldn't mind seeing that. See people push it over time. But I also want to see this go the other way. The even more skip way. Send it to Quake 3. Where checkpoint order doesn't matter. And let them have at it. <laughs> you know? So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please enjoy week three. We have an incredible, incredible week ahead of us on uh, on a strafe map this week. It's going to be a lot closer. Last round we had big points differences all the way down. You know, no matter where you were, you were losing big points off of it. And yeah, it was the lowest scoring points for most people I think um, but also the highest scoring single points yeah short time big time gaps big uh, big points differences but this week yeah pure strafe hard strafe lots of routes lots of route options it's gonna be really interesting to see which way people go it's going to be more interesting because I think I can actually wrap my head around all of the routes for next week. Something's going to happen that's going to mean I can't. Thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you on uh, on the server or on the next week or wherever we're going to end up seeing. Thank you very much. Congratulations to everybody. See you next week.